Welcome guys and gals, this is Jabber bringing you another Back to Reality episode, and this episode is going to be about opportunity and taking advantage of the opportunities that are um, brought to you or, you know, you're faced with, I guess. And uh, first I want to touch on, you know, sports and clubs. So sports are something that are not everyone's forte. But at the same time, I think that it's very instrumental for uh, people to do, you know, to try different sports because sports are really important. They allow for uh, team building and, uh, you know, a lot of discipline and stuff like that. And also, you know, when you get a job and or you go, you know, to college, I guess, a lot of people like to play sports, you know, just as a social thing, not so much as a competitive thing, but a little bit more on the social side. And, you know, you don't want to make a jackass of yourself when you're going out and playing, uh, you know, if you go out and play pick up basketball, or softball is kind of a big one, especially at picnics and stuff like that, or volleyball. And so you want to have a little bit of basic knowledge on it, every sport. And things like football... You only have really one chance to play football, and that's from Pee Wee up to high school. I mean, unless you're really good and you go on to play in college or anything. But, you know, full pads, you don't have that opportunity. And uh, I unfortunately didn't play football, and that's something I really regret. And I also regret not playing soccer. And, you know, some people don't like soccer, especially in America. But I think it's a cool sport. Um, can be a little bit boring at times, but it's, it's actually really fun to play. I'm doing... Uh, soccer, indoor soccer, intramural, but that's besides the point. Really, what you should do is you should try a sport, you should try an individual sport, and you should try a team sport, especially in high school, because it really builds a lot of character that you wouldn't have otherwise, and uh, you should also join some clubs, I think, in high school, or, or even middle school, especially in college, though. In college, it's really important to be involved. But clubs are a big thing because they give you a different perspective on uh, what you're already doing. So, and they allow you to gain um, more people that are interested in the same things, I guess. So my senior year, the only club I did was my senior year I did DECA, which is like a business club and you go in an interview and you do like mock interviews and uh, mock presentations and stuff like that. And it was really helpful on uh, me doing public speaking and stuff and also maintaining my my composure when I was up in front of people or if it was a really important interview or something like that it allowed me to maintain my composure and a lot of people commented on that when I go in for job interviews and they always comment on how calm I am and how I feel really relaxed and look really relaxed when I go in there and I really owe that all to DECA because DECA allows you to practice those types of skills so when you get out in the real world you're able to really apply them and I think that stuff like Key Club and Bionic and uh, you know even culture clubs I mean even if you go do like chess club or Bible club or something and a lot of people laugh at stuff like that but I mean that kind of stuff really puts a different perspective into what you're already doing and uh, leadership clubs are the same way, you know, leaderships are a really good thing, like student council or student government or senate and stuff like that. Those, those are really good things as well. And they allow you to develop skills you would otherwise develop, you know, on your day-to-day -day basis. And uh, what else? Oh, yeah, extra credit. So a lot of people don't do extra credit because uh, it's, you know, it's work that you, you don't need to do and it's not required. But you never know when you're going to need that extra credit. You know, you might sleep in one day when your homework's due and not turn in your homework one day or you might you know just have a test to study for so you can't do homework for another class and the harder your classes get the more important it is to do your extra credit because your extra credit in your harder classes and at higher levels it comes it doesn't come as often as it does you know in grade school and stuff like that so it's really important to pick up on that extra credit and take that opportunity that the teachers are giving you because you never know when you're going to need it I mean even if you have a 99% of the class and you're like you know this is going to take 30 minutes or an hour and I don't really want to do it I want to go hang out with people you know just take that time and uh, you'll be a lot happier because one day you know you don't want the time to come when you need it and you realize, you know, if I if only I would have done that, I would have had the A instead of the B, or the B instead of the C. And so that just really sets you up 
good preparation. Um, also, school opportunities. Yeah. So, also when you're picking your classes for high school, college, and even middle school, try to pick classes that are a little bit harder because, um, you know, people actually look at that. Maybe not in middle school as much, but when you're applying for colleges and stuff. They really look at what kind of classes you took, and uh, you know you get it all the time. People would like to rather see you get a B in a AP or advanced placement class rather than an A in a basic or standard class. And it's really true, and you learn a lot more. And uh, knowledge is everything these days. So really try to take advantage of that. Really try to go out there and do your best. I know school's not fun, and uh, right now I'm in college, and it's it's definitely not fun, but um, just try to do your best and try to, you know, try to excel and try to, you know, push yourself a little bit academically. Friendships, that's another big thing. Um, so you should never uh, turn down the opportunity to, opportunity to be someone's friend. And I know a lot of times, you know, I'm exactly that way. I'm the type of person that, you know, I look at someone and for some odd reason, if... I don't want to be their friend sometimes, you know, and that's something you have to kind of get over because friendships are key and you want as many friends as you can because you never know who's going to be the one to, you know, save your ass or, you know, stick up for you or do something for you, you know, or do something kind for you that you really need. And, you know, networking, especially when you come up to college, you'll hear the word networking a lot and networking is a huge part of getting a job. And you never know, I know it seems like you're kind of quote-unquote using them, but you're really not. I mean, if you're friends with everyone, you're friendly, you know, you smile a lot, that's a really good thing. And you never know who's going to be able to help you out uh, later on. So really try to be friends with everyone. Um, also, world and cultural opportunities. You should definitely take the opportunity to do things like traveling and get getting to know other cultures and getting to know other people because our world is really global now. And so it's really important to kind of break out of the shell of just, you know, Caucasian Americans having friends that are just Caucasian or just Asian or just African American or just Mexican or one race or another or just, you know, straight. You can branch out and have friends from all different aspects because the more globalized you are, the more that will help you relate to other things and other people, which is really important. Um, try to learn another language, you know, just just knowing English is not going to really cut it in today's workforce. Uh, I mean, even if you want to work at McDonald's, you'll probably need to know Spanish, but um, in all seriousness, it is important to be globally aware, and uh, I'm going to try to take advantage of my study abroad program because, you know, when you, you, when you get a job, and you get older and you have a family, it's going to be hard to travel for as long as you want. I mean, you're not going to be able to take a whole six months off and go to a different country. That's going to be really hard unless you're some type of millionaire, and that's kind of unlikely. So try to take advantage of all the opportunities that you have, you know, clubs and studying abroad and traveling and uh, school stuff, academic stuff. And lastly, uh, girls or boys, I guess. So take advantage of those relationships. Don't, you know, blow anyone off. Don't, you know, make every relationship you have count and don't just take it for granted because once you start taking it for granted, you know, it's going to slip away and uh, you're going to really regret it, trust me. So make sure that you put your whole heart into it and, um, you know, if you have feelings for someone, go at it 100%. Because you never know what's going to happen, and uh, if you don't, if you only half-ass it, or you know, if you if you know someone uh, is kind of into you, and you're not so sure, and you just kind of blow them off, or you, yeah, blowing people off isn't cool. Um, you know, you should really. I mean, even if you're not into them, you should at least be nice and not just ignore them. Ignoring people is actually one of the worst things you can do. It's a really bad feeling to feel, you know, isolated. I guess, but. Just with relationships, you know, work at it and take it seriously. I mean, even if you're young, I mean, I'm not saying take it seriously, like, you know, get married and have kids seriously, but, you know, take people's feelings seriously because you never know what's going to happen and you don't want to have regrets. Regrets are really the worst things because, you know, what ifs, in the end, what ifs don't matter and uh, you never want to be asking what if 
or telling yourself, if only I would have blank, 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 um, because that's a re really bad feeling as well. So take advantage of the opportunities you that are given to you and, uh, you know, go make your own luck out there. Other than that, I think that's it, guys. See you guys next video.